Man, my high ass done recorded a video, audio when he recorded, man. So we're gonna try it again, y'all. It's trailer from the 615. Let's just get right into it. So as you can see, we're looking at uh just the overview through Google Maps of Makita's homemade cookies, which obviously where Dolph was killed. So now if you zoom in, obviously you don't have to zoom that much in, but you see that family dollar. Now, that family dollar is the family dollar that the uh, dude in that, my previous video, I'll leave a link in the description for that, of this recorded audio of the dude talking to the detective on behalf of the eyewitness. I don't know why the eyewitness wasn't just talking to the detective, but who knows. Um, so he was talking to the detective, and he kept saying, like, check those cameras in family dollar. Check that film, because... The girl said she saw two dudes run out the back, and they had guns. Funny thing is, this is where I feel like conspiracy theories really happen. Because, let's, I mean, look look at where Family Dollar is beside. You shouldn't even have to tell them to check the cameras. Because closer to the end, he's like, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just look at the cameras and make sure we didn't miss nothing. What do you mean? That's literally right there. Like, you, you should see if there was a camera that caught them driving that way or if it was a camera somewhere catching them driving this way. Who knows? What, what I'm saying is why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't that be one of the first priorities? Let's pull all the cameras um, in that close proximity. So Family Dollars and Makita's. Obviously Makita's, and you've seen that footage. So let's just go to another thing that I just want to show you guys. So remember on that... Um, if you guys been watching all these uh, posts and stuff on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, uh, people specifically keep pointing at this gold color or tan color SUV. It's one of them old ones. Um, and basically, it was backed in right here because that's where the camera was shooting it from, backed in right here. Now, me personally, I don't... Who knows if that person really has anything to do with any of that that's going on. It could have just been the uh, perfect timing from when they was right there about to pull out and the murder ended up happening, and that screenshot just showed... Because think about it. It doesn't even matter if it happened with the murder happened or whatever. The screenshot could literally just show a car just... Be, who knows if they were even in the car, is what I'm saying. There's no other footage that shows this car leaving. I haven't seen it. So, nine times out of ten, that car was back then right here. If you guys want to act... I, that's irrelevant that's irrelevant what's relevant is this family dollar thing they need to pull the film for family dollar that eyewitnesses that eyewitness says she saw these folks running out the back now another thing is let's just do that look what is look what's behind this family dollar nothing <laughs> exactly nothing nothing to run through here to peak and circle and the reason why i'm saying this because who knows if it was other shooters or what but it, it, it's just suspicious that they haven't ran these cameras for this family dollar. Why wouldn't you do that? Like, look at that view they have. They could easily get get some film from across the street over there. Who Now, now if the camera's shit. But now, that, that can't be the case because the motherfucker said they haven't even checked the cameras. So, what you guys think about that? It's Triller from the 615.